this is an image of Marie Soussan and Rashid Qasantini, two great actors from early 20th century Algiers theatre production. The poster is by Iris Miske, an emerging graphic artist from the south of France. Algiers the theatrical production in the early 20th century was a mix of French stage theatre, lyrical comedy, vaudeville, farce and slapstick without any precise demarcation between these genres. Marie Soussan was born into a traditional Jewish family in Algiers at the end of the 19th century. A musical family, they were from Constantine, Constantine, Eastern Algeria, and spoke Derija, North African Arabic, at home. She would rise to fame as Rashid Qasantini's stage partner in the late 1920s. From the early 1930s, the pair would become involved as a romantic couple until 1944, when Qasantini passed. An actress, singer and Jerbuka player in her own right, the fact that she is primarily remembered through the work of Qasantini when over a decade of local press would describe her as une chanteuse étoile, la divette algeroise and even la Sophie Tucker de l'Afrique du Nord shows the degree to which the theatre at that time was dominated by men. Islamic law meant that young men played the role of women on stage, which meant that Marie Soussan would for a long time be the only Algerian woman on stage, at least in the capital, Algiers, if not across the entire country. Soussan had to struggle on a number of counts for recognition, for her talent. Most directors saw her as impetuous, an extension of Rashid Qasantini for her input. It wasn't until the mid 1930s that she would be credited with co-authorship of the sketches that Rashid Qasantini and her prepared and performed. Soussan's story deserves to be told. On the one hand, it shows the normality with which a Jewish actress would come to be known as the female star of autochthonous performance culture in Algeria at the beginning of the 20th century. On the other hand, it shows the degree to which the cultural sphere was plagued by patriarchy to the extent that the name of Marie Soussan today requires reappropriation. Thank you.